Holy mackerel, you can cook with energy from the sun. In today's episode, we will be assembling a solar oven, cooking with it, and learning all about the energy it takes to make it work. It might surprise you that sunlight on its own isn't hot. Solar energy or energy from the sun travels in waves or is radiant energy. It takes about eight minutes for light to travel from the sun to the earth. That same energy is transferred to air molecules in a method known as radiation, which converts light into thermal energy. This is hopefully what we can get to happen in our solar oven today. Here are some supplies you may need. Cardboard boxes, newspaper, some heavy duty tape, scissors, a cardboard knife, or a box cutter. This is a little more kid friendly. Plastic cling wrap, aluminum foil, instruction paper, and wooden skewers. Energy moves from high pressure or temperature to low pressure or temperature. And the bigger the difference between the two, the faster it will move. This means once the air inside of our oven begins to heat up, it will actively be trying to escape. This space that we're creating between the two boxes, hopefully we'll slow that down. We need to line the inside of our box with construction paper, but what color should we use? We want our solar ovens to absorb as much light as possible. Light travels in waves. Some of those waves we can see and some we cannot. The visible light that humans see as the color white consists of a rainbow of colors on the electromagnetic spectrum, like a rainbow after a storm. If the color of a surface is anything other than white, it will absorb light from some of the wavelengths. I have an infrared thermometer that we will use to measure the temperature of each color. So black is the ultimate heat absorber. This is because it absorbs all light on the visible spectrum. So this is what we need to use for our solar oven. Okay, now we need to figure out how to keep all of this energy inside of our box without blocking the sun. Our box in a box design is really going to help insulate the sides and the bottom but light can't travel through those. And that's a pretty big problem. Objects are either transparent, translucent, or opaque, depending on the amount of light that is able to travel through them. Light travels through transparent objects, so you can see through them. Some objects are translucent, meaning they only let some light through, and opaque objects allow no light to pass through them. Some of the roof of this greenhouse is transparent and some of it is translucent, allowing the light to pass through. It's sealed up, trapping all of that thermal energy. This is perfect and exactly what we need to use for our solar oven. I have this plastic wrap that is transparent, which will allow all that light through, but also seal our box, trapping the heated up air. Light can be reflected, refracted, transmitted, or absorbed. Reflection is when light bounces off of a surface and changes direction. Refraction is light bending when passing from one medium to another. Transmission is light going through a surface. And absorption is light going into an object and stopping. So far, we are allowing the light to be transmitted through the plastic cling wrap and absorbed by the black construction paper, but could we get the light to reflect or bounce off of something into our solar oven? Let's create a reflector with this extra piece of cardboard and aluminum foil. Now, you can take your wooden skewers. You're going to use it to prop up your reflector. I think we're ready to make a delicious snack. Let's head outside and get cooking. 
Okay, so inside of my solar oven, we're gonna make some nachos. So I have the chips and cheese and jalapenos, and then I have my inside temperature gauge that will help us be able to tell what temperature it is on the inside of the oven. Use the science you've learned today and try this experiment at home. For more science, you can check out this video next. Crazy. This is so good. Why don't I cook like this all the time?